Okay, so today we begin. Sorry. Okay, so we move forward in this curriculum. So everything that we've done, some of you are doing the last part of your inorganic portion. Now we move forward with the organic chemistry, which means, okay, you're dealing with carbon and hydrogen and other components, okay, that make up what we call organic compounds because those were some of your reactions, a hydrocarbon, okay? So with that, anything that forms compounds with or of the element carbon, those are organic compounds. So when we You don't have a periodic table. No, that's your I got a periodic table. Where's your table then? Why don't you get it out? It'd be a lot simpler than that. Yes. Why is that? Okay, well, we'll wrap this up. haven't decided yet. I don't know when vocabulary will be due. Hey, my phone dings again. It's probably a check. I might need to check This will be the last slide that we go through today. Put some other materials up on the board. <laughs> Okay. Does everyone have this content that wants it? Okay. So for those of you taking the exam, you come back and you get this content from the Science Channel, just like those that are gone for track. Okay. So from prior knowledge, what column is carbon in? Six. No. It's fourth column. So what you would have learned before. Okay. 
So how many electrons does each element want to have around it? Eight, right? Five. So then this would be your simplest compound right here. You have eight electrons around it. Hydrogen is sharing that electron with carbon. So that is how we deal with organic compounds. This is just carbon and hydrogen, so we know this is an organic compound. We didn't have a whole lot to go over tomorrow. It'll be a little different. We'll continue with this. We'll catch up to you next time.